In solid state structures, the atoms are normally treated as hard spheres. It's not possible to pack spheres together so that all the space is taken up. Even in a close packed structure, there are gaps between the spheres. You can judge how well packed a particular structure is by working out its packing efficiency, which is defined as the percentage of the structure that is taken up by the atoms. The packing efficiency is given by the volume of the atoms in a unit cell divided by the total volume of the unit cell, with the answer multiplied by 100 to give us a percentage. So, to work out the packing efficiency for a particular structure, you need to work out two things, the volume of the atoms in a unit cell and the total volume of the unit cell. In this screencast, we're going to work out the packing efficiency of the cubic close pack structure. Start with the volume of the atoms in a unit cell. This is equal to the number of atoms in the unit cell multiplied by 4 thirds pi r cubed, which is the volume of a sphere. How many atoms are there in a unit cell of the cubic close pack structure? Looking at this structure, you can see there are 8 atoms on the vertices. Each of these atoms is shared equally between 8 unit cells, so contributes an eighth to each. There are also 6 atoms on the faces. These are shared equally between 2 unit cells, so contribute a half to each. This means that overall, there are 8 times 1 eighth plus 6 times a half, which is equal to 4 atoms in the unit cell. Therefore, the volume of the atoms in the unit cell is equal to 4 times 4 thirds pi r cubed, or 16 over 3 times pi r cubed. OK, what about the total volume of the unit cell? In a cube, all the sides have equal length, so the volume is equal to L cubed, where L is the length of a side of the unit cell. The atoms on the vertices are not in contact with each other. An atom on a vertex touches an atom on the centre of a face, so the distance between their centres is 2 times r. Looking at just one face of the cube, the distance between opposite vertices is 4r. Knowing this, you can calculate the distance L using Pythagoras' theorem, which states that for a right angled triangle, the sum of the squares of the side lengths is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Applying Pythagoras' theorem to the blue triangle shown, you can see that L squared plus L squared equals 4R squared. This means that L is equal to the square root of 8 multiplied by R. The volume of the cell is L cubed, so equal to the square root of 8 cubed multiplied by R cubed. You can now put the expressions for the volume of the atoms and the volume of the unit cell into the equation for packing efficiency. The cube of the radius is on both the top and the bottom of the equation, so cancels out. Putting the numbers in gives a value of 74% for the packing efficiency.